What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and as the beta comes to a close for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, they have just decided to market The Haunting, right? We are 24 hours away from the launch of our Season 6 Reloaded update for MW2 and Warzone. I know it's kind of hectic. We got marketing for our final title update in MW2 while the beta is just coming to a close for the next Call of Duty, but here's the official artwork for the haunting itself got a nice view there of ash williams Lilith from diablo spawn some other halloween skins there really beautiful looking artwork um and we got a nice comparison there to the haunting of her dance from many years ago i'm a big saw fan so always love to see stuff like that they have just announced the end of the beta so there is sadly no extension so thank you for playing the beta phase is an important time for our team as it allows to test the game in a live environment and collect valuable feedback. Your, contrib your contribution, excuse me, has been instrumental in ensuring that MW3 reaches its full potential. We genuinely appreciate your support and we can't wait to play with all of you at launch. Now, a trailer also dropped. I'll include that as a timestamp here in this video. But here is the official roadmap for the final major update inside of MW2 and Warzone. This is The Haunting making a comeback after not being featured in Call of Duty Vanguard last year. So for Warzone Al Mazra, you can see marshlands and parted seas. We got some point of interest updates there. And I'm assuming there'll be other point of interest updates that we have to see in game. Night map variant. So we got Swamp Creature, the Pharaoh, UFO, uh, Ghost Train, Evil Spirits, and the Butcher as our bosses. Um, it looks like the Butcher's also on Von Dead. Gonna open that in a new tab as well, just so we can uh, we could zoom in the way we want to here. Um, so yeah, Almazra is getting a night variant. For those out there that wanted to play Almazra at night in either a battle royale or DMZ, you can do so with the haunting there. But looking forward to all the bosses we can find. It's gonna be pretty fun. We also have Von Dead. So this is our night variant of Vandal, haunted weather, which is pretty cool. So for those that wanted more dynamic weather inside of Warzone 2.0, we're gonna get that zombie quarantine. Gotta see what that means later, but yeah, point of interest updates will be present on Vondel as well, as you can see. Limited time mode. So for BR and DMZ, we have Operation Nightmare. This is where we can find all the bosses and major point of interest updates around the environment. But then Zombies Royale as a mode is only available in Vonded and Almazra, but through Warzone, not DMZ. So for those familiar with the zombie events that we had uh, with The Haunting of Verdansk, MW19, or The Haunting of Verdansk 84 from Black Ops Cold War. That mode is returning here with this update. Uh, we also have the Haunted Boss, which looks pretty damn cool, as you can see. Uh, and then the Bloodseeker Grenades. So we're going to get haunting-themed equipment skins inside of this update. And then for multiplayer, we already know, we have Halloween reskins for Ella Cielo and Embassy. They dropped a cinematic trailer for the Ella Cielo map as of yesterday on Sunday. Uh, haunting 24-7, Mosh Pit. Grind, kill, confirm, domination, infected, drop zone. So we're going to be seeing Halloween reskins to these familiar multiplayer modes. And then once again, some more uh, reskins for our equipment. For the decoy grenade and suppression mine, these are likely just going to be uh, temporary updates, limited time uh, Halloween skins. These are probably not going to be uh, permanent uh, skins in the game for, you know, the munitions box, the decoy grenade, so on and so forth. And then uh, as they confirm here, carries over to Mono for 3, we have our new bundles. And we already have Al Ucard, the Helsing Pack, in store right now. But Skeletor's coming out. Doom Chase Pack already dropped. The Ash Williams Operator Pack. And then Lilith came out as of, what was it, yesterday? And Anarius is coming out at the end of the month. So uh, pretty cool to see a roadmap for The Haunting. Um, kind of being placed over the artwork we just went over earlier in this video. But yeah, the beginning of Season 6 did not offer a roadmap. And that's because a majority of the content in this sixth and final season is for The Haunting. So it was best that they save... Uh, a roadmap until the haunting actually begins. No COD blog. It's not really a need for one, I don't think. I, I want to say the season six blog post initially is essentially focused all around the haunting as it is. Uh, there wasn't much that dropped at the beginning of the season besides the MP maps, the battle pass, and the weapons. But yeah, this blog post essentially already covers everything you need to know about the haunting. So that's probably what they're going to leave it off at in terms of marketing this time around. And the preload should begin to drop as of, I want to say tonight or early tomorrow morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer has just dropped for The Haunting, which does release tomorrow inside of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh boy. Call of Duty presents the biggest Halloween event yet. Yeah. The beta is still active right now. It's crazy. We're getting marketing. Beautiful cinematic. going on here, dude? 
Badass skin. Huh. Got a ritual going on in Almazra? They go hard, man. We got spawn. Woo! Oh, we got the hell train. That's sick, man. Ass Williams. Ooh, Lilith. From Diablo. She just released yesterday. Got a nice view of like all our licensed operators for the final season here. Ooh, hell yeah, a pro pack coming out. That's a badass pumpkin spin. Alucard. Some zombie Royale action, dude. That was on Fondo. Nice. Hello, ugly. <laughs> zombie ghost. Ooh, a swamp going on. What the hell? Got a pharaoh or a mummy. We got the violator. Hell yeah, Skeletor, baby. Damn, that, that goes hard. Ooh. Big ass boss fight. Okay. That was pretty sick. Cool little gameplay trailer for uh, for the haunting there. Once again, you pre order MW3, you get that Soul Harvester blueprint. We already got a little cinematic inside of MW2 with the launch of Season 6. Got like a LSCLO multiplayer cinematic for the haunting yesterday. Now we got another, another little gameplay preview there of all of our content coming to Warzone as of tomorrow. But I'm going to end this video by redirecting you guys to the detonated article I wrote a couple of days ago, recapping everything you need to know about the haunting event. For those that are not up to date with everything dropping in every single game mode, for some reason, the official roadmap didn't mention the Soul Capture event, which I think is a big part of the haunting this time around. Uh, it's a sequel to the Trophy on November Season 3. So if you want more information about the specific challenge event, the rewards you can unlock, some of the rules, a Soul Harvester blueprint, you can check out that article over on Detonated, linked down below. And more information is featured in this article as well that hasn't been marketed all that much. Again, if there is another blog post that drops for The Haunting, I'll keep you guys posted with that one.